Good morning, vloggy and jujubes. Today, I'm going to run some errands and I'm gonna bring you with me. It is super, super bright and sunny. I thought it was gonna be raining all day today, so I was like planning to wear, you know, like waterproof shoes and the whole ordeal, but um, the forecast is incorrect. Literally, even when you check like just like five minutes before going out the door, it's like the forecast is still incorrect. They still haven't like updated it. It's like, it's just amazing to me how Google is so wrong about the weather like 500% of the time. That just really shows that God is in control. And if God wants it to be a sunny day, it will be a sunny day, even though the forecast still says it's gonna rain. <laughs> it's not gonna rain. Um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be sunny all day so that's nice and uh what else oh so i can bring sunglasses i think i'll wear my like green star sunglasses that'll be fun and oh yeah what was i gonna say so i've been trying to put my fake eyelashes on like the waterline or like on the tight line which is like beneath the real eyelashes and it is it gives you kind of like the eyelash extension look without it being actual eyelash extensions, which I like, right? It's fun. But the problem with it is that I constantly cry. <laughs> I'm like a crybaby, so I don't know. I feel like the tears just sometimes go on my waterline and then kind of like dislodge. The eyelashes if they're on my tight line or the waterline um, beneath my eyelashes so that's kind of like the bad part about it because if you put the eyelashes over top of your real eyelashes usually they don't come off even if you cry um, in my experience so anyway I like this form of this method but that's the only con that I've seen so far thus far I'll show you my outfit of the day. So I think I'll wear this like white raincoat. It's like a, you know, I don't know. Cause it's kind of like the similar length to this cardigan and this dragon dress. And then I've got these boots because these are not waterproof. So hopefully it doesn't rain. They're like a soft, like faux suede type thing. Um. So yeah, this is my outfit. And then I have this sparkly headband and um, I'm gonna get my green star sunglasses although it's really difficult to wear sunglasses or any form of glasses when you're wearing a mask so I'm not sure if that'll happen but I'll bring them task uno is to pick up some hard copies of my new headshots and then task dos, wait, uno, dos, tres. I don't know how to speak Spanish, oh my gosh. Task er, which is Mandarin. That's Mandarin for two, if you didn't know what er was. Er is two in Mandarin. And task er, I will try this vegan sandwich restaurant. I've had really bad luck with going to restaurants and stuff lately, like yes. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I went to this like donut shop and they were supposed to have vegan donuts, but they didn't have any because they were sold out and they were re really, really busy that day. So when I went there, by the time I got there, they were all gone. So I was sad I didn't get to try any. But yeah, hopefully today I'm gonna try this new place out that I've never been to before. I think they opened in like 2021, so they're uh, sort of newish. And I'm gonna try one of their sandwiches. I think I'll probably get like the chicken with the truffle oil thing because uh, I saw a lot of people review that one and they said that one was really good. So yeah, so that's task er. And then task sun, task number three is I think I should go to Sephora and buy some makeup because I am in this resurgence of makeup obsession because of NMIX because I really like NMIX's makeup so it got me really into Korean makeup and now I want to do my makeup all the time <laughs> which is like very unlike me but I'm just trying new methods out and stuff 
and I think that I need to get the Tarte shape tape or something concealer because uh, lately I've had really dry skin and I only have a stick concealer and I feel like the stick concealer kind of sometimes accentuates the flaky skin on my dry skin so unless I use like a serum beforehand or like a lot of like oil or like a moisturizer beforehand then it helps with the stick concealer because that's what I did this morning I tried that out and it did work I think but I will still think it's a good investment to probably get a liquid concealer and I like Tarte so why not they are kind of expensive but I will go see and maybe buy some other things at Sephora too I don't know didn't know yet so yeah that is the agenda Okay, I got the goods. The headshots are in here. They look good. I'll show you when I get home, I guess. It's kind of weird to like try to show you when I'm walking, so yeah. Okay, I told you I have bad luck with restaurants, right? I think this place is closed or something. It's actually a really nice day. Maybe I should try to take a photo. I found the place. See, these are the new headshots. Smells really good. There's a little card here that says Merci because they're supposed to be like French bread. This is the uh, chicken truffle thing. Look how cute this little card is. So earlier I called that restaurant and um, then they called me back and told me that they were open and how to find them and then I was able to get the sandwich. Now guess where? Cartems. Okay, I tried a bunch of them. This one in the center, that's my, uh, the concealer I currently use. And I think medium sand is the one that's closest. I can't really point right now because I'm holding the camera with my hand, but yeah. As soon as I got home, Tappy was trying to get my attention. Tappy, weren't you? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you that right across from that Sephora that I went to, there was a David's Tea. I thought that all of their like actual physical stores closed down or something because of the pandemic, but they still had a store. They said that, that their store was the only one in BC. Okay, tapping. Um, that their store was the only one that was open in BC, so. I'm very happy that I caught that store and that I went in. I got the Alpine Punch, which I've never tried, but she recommended it to me because I was asking her about the cocoa They used to have like this flavor that was like a rooibos tea called coconut chai rooibos, which I liked and She said that that was like I don't know not in their store. So she recommended this one which apparently is probably a little similar It has rooibos and coconut chips in it so yeah, hopefully I like this. She said it would be kind of like taste like marzipan and I really like marzipan so I hope it lives up to that. And then the other one I got was strawberry rhubarb parfait which I'm pretty sure I've tried this one before and I think I remember that it was, I liked it so. Oh wait, this contains milk. Oh, it has a hint of yogurt. Okay, <laughs> I will steep this for Joyce because Joyce is a vegetarian. I should have read that beforehand or asked about it. I think I had it before. So, whoopsies. Oh well, this smells really good though. I will just smell it and <laughs> not have any because it's not vegan. Um, so yeah, that's what I got at David's Tea. At least I got a donut, which I will cherish 
and save for later. Tappy has been really active these days. She really always wants to go outside because the weather's starting to finally warm up. So that is why she is being a very clingy cat. So the verdict on that sandwich from Torn is I really liked it. It was a little tiny bit spicy because of the arugula and oh yeah, do you see my pea shooter stuffy? Wait, I should show it to you. Like how cute is this? So it has a little pea. You can just stuff it in its mouth. See look. And then it has this suction thing which I never know what to stick these onto. If you know, tell me. It always just drops off of any glass, so I don't know what you're supposed to stick them to. But yeah, this is so cute. I love it. It's from Plants vs. Zombies, in case you don't know. So as I was saying, that sandwich, it had arugula, which is also pretty spicy. And I'm not really a fan of arugula. <laughs> I'm vegan, but I don't really like vegetables. Like, the only vegetables I really like are spinach and kale. Those are like my two favorites. And avocado is a fruit, so it doesn't count. It's green, but it doesn't count. <laughs> what else? Is there anything else green I like? Oh, I like bok choy. I mean, I like Swiss chard too, but like my mom just never really buys any of those. <laughs> um, we just never really have those around. I need to tell her to get some, some frozen kale actually. Um, and I also like broccoli. That is green also. Um, but yeah, arugula is not really my favorite. It's like my least favorite. Uh, green. But other than that, the sandwich is good. The reason I got... Oh, and the bread was really, really, like, really toasted. Like, really crispy and crunchy. So, I have a small mouth and I had, like, trouble eating it because it was so, like, fat and crunchy at the same time. But um, that is a minor issue. I would still order another sandwich there, but I would try one of the other ones on the menu because there was another one, like a brie one, that really looked good. I would probably like that. So yeah, I would love to go back if I'm ever in that area. And I was right, it didn't rain. It is still sunny up until now, so I think I'm going to take Tappy on a walk. She's really, really been asking and begging. She's staring at me right now, intensely, <coughs> intensely like this. Okay. Actually, there is a single rain cloud right now, raining down. Two hours later. Okay. Choice of glasses, you know, not really my best choice here. Why is the camera being like this? Oh, there we go. Um, because right now it is hailing from that one rain cloud I told you about, it's hailing. Like some icicles just fell on me. Some nice round pieces of ice. So this is a little premature. <laughs> I wish it was summer, but it's not. Not yet. It's not ready. We're not ready. I mean, I'm ready, but God is not ready. I don't know if you can hear that. It's literally hail. Look at this distinguished donut. Um, some of the frosting came off and it got a little squished on the side inside of the paper bag, but that's okay. So this is the Earl Grey. I just plated it and microwaved it for like 10 seconds. And let's give it a bite. It is very sweet. 
and cinnamony. Ooh, I like that there's like a lemon taste to it. Yeah, that lemon part, or I don't know. I think it might be the rose part. I, is this like rose petals on it or something? I don't know. That's pretty good. I'm going to end the vloggy here. I hope you had a fun trip outing with me. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to think of more video ideas that are more outside of the box. And you can always let me know any suggestions that you have in the comments below, below, below. I don't know why I did that. It just seems weird doing it with like a thumb, thumb down, <laughs> thumb down. I should have done like with a pointer finger. Yeah, it makes more sense with a pointer finger. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, hope you're having a good March. I'm very excited because my sister Joyce is going to be graduating soon, so she will be coming back. Um, so I will soon have a buddy again, and that'll be really nice. One of the first things I want to do with her is probably see a movie in the movie theater. It's been too, too long since I've done that. Um, yeah. Um... I've been accentuating my ego cell lately because that's like what Korean makeup really likes to do and it's fun I enjoy it <laughs> um ego cell just means the cute little like pocket of fat underneath your bottom eyelashes <laughs> yeah Anyway, so I'm really enjoying the whole Korean makeup and learning more about that and getting more into Korean hair and makeup products and stuff like that. <sighs> yep, so that's it for today. See you next time, Jujubes. Bye, vloggy.